Stokes committed. McQueen. Feet were fairly high then, but McQueen got it out of harm's way. His downs. This ends! Oh, yes! That really was a fine goal. Pollard. And driving from midfield, McQueen across. Jenkins has got Sturk there. He's got Booth inside, number four. Blissett coming in. And makes it! Sailed across the goal, Jenkins makes a nod it on for Blizzard. 3 0 to Watford after 26 minutes. The second goal for Blizzard to make it 4 0 for Watford, and that was the result.
is also, this is Gibbs. Blissett! Oh, yes! Luther Blissett, 1-1. Wow, well, that's a spectacular goal. And Luther, one of the most popular players ever to wear a Watford shirt. Blissett, good goal. Simple, but so well executed. Controversy here looming. He's onside, is Blissett, and Lukic is saved, and Blissett again, a goal. But Arsenal must go back to the referee because the linesman on the far side was flagging in the previous attempt. Now, what does Brian Stevens do here? Involved in controversy in the Arsenal Watford fixture for the second year time running this season, and he has awarded a goal to Watford, scored by Luther Blissett and confirmed that Watford are in the semi-final. Three days later, the first cup action of the young season. Home advantage in the first leg of the Rumbelows against South End. And after 29 minutes, Luther Blissett was celebrating his return to Vicarage Road with the opening goal. It was a memorable day for Luther Blissett, his 458th appearance for Watford, breaking Duncan Wellborn's record set in the 60s and 70s. And when Joe McLaughlin headed back across goal, who else was on hand? Yes, it was Luther putting Watford in front. Luther Blissett's experience was too much for Portsmouth's young guns. The first for Blissett after brushing aside defender Kit Simons. Just after half-time, Blissett found himself in a record-breaking position. The striker, with the knack of being in the right place at the right time, established a new scoring record for Watford, breaking Tommy Barnett's record, which had stood since 1939. Watford equalised with only eight minutes left. A brilliant finish from Luther Blissett. Peter Shilton could only watch in horror. While the defending was doubtful, the striking was of the highest quality. None better than Luther Blissett's rocket. Mark Hazelwood became the third City player to see red. Watford lost only one of their last 13 games. Luther Blissett took his personal tally to 12 goals for the season.